So whether you are a filmmaker or a film lover, you're going to want to stay locked to this conversation because I have Dale Hildebrand here with me. Hi. And he is the writer, producer, uh, editor, and director of this film, Road to the Lemon Grove. And it is coming out very shortly. So um, my name is Analea Boki. I'm with First Weekend Club. If you don't know, we promote Canadian films from coast to coast to let you know when um, a great Canadian film is coming to a cinema near you. So stay tuned for more information on more films coming. And right now, yours is coming out very shortly, this Friday, actually. August 30th, it's coming out, yes. Okay, and so tell me how this process happened. This is your first feature film? Well, I, I've produced a lot of different pictures, and I've directed a lot, or I've edited, and I've shot a lot, DP'd stuff, and um, this is my first to produce, direct, the whole gambit sort of thing. And uh, so, yeah, it was uh, many hats to wear, I guess. But that's awesome, because you are a filmmaker extraordinaire then. Well, filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> and and a, a hardworking one at that. But, uh, you know, I think it's hard work for every filmmaker to, to pull stuff off. Well, let's, let's, let's let the people know who are curious, how do you get this film made? Like, you get the idea. And then what happens? Well, uh, you know, I've had a number of scripts uh, optioned in L.A. And I thought, you know, they, they keep, you know, extending the option, extending the option. And finally, I thought, this one, I'm just going to make it. So we sat down, wrote it. Uh, we went, uh, you know, a week later, two weeks later, we went to Sicily, started scouting late locations. And about six months later, we were shooting. Uh, it, was, it was a crazy, crazy whirlwind. But we worked on this thing for a long time. And it, it's been an awful lot of work. And, you know, we, we've also had, you know, one hour actor playing four different roles so doing the prosthetics of it you know we have to shoot the entire movie edit the movie and then the prosthetics guy wanted uh, he was just finished doing Steven Spielberg's BFG and the guy that did the Revenant did the sculpting for the prosthetics I wanted these guys to do it and so we had to wait a year till they were available and then we shot those scenes so it's a long process you know but you know we had a brilliant team on board and you only look good as the people around you sort of thing Oh, that's a nice thing to say for a filmmaker, but it's true. It's true. You, it's a collaborative effort. Um, what did you say to people to get you on board, to get them on board to this road to the Lemon Grove? I, I think most of the time it was the script. People loved the script, uh, even though it's bucking the norms. It's so against everything that you will see in film festivals out there or Netflix or, you know, the superhero movies. It's targeted to an older audience. Uh, it's a 35 plus or more. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's like, a, you know, I've had a few people dub it my big fat Sicilian funeral sort of thing, you know. So it's that sort of genre. It's, it's humor with heart. And can you say that somebody influenced you to have humor with heart? Well, I think my, my family, uh, growing up, it always was a sense of humor and teasing, that sort of thing. But I, when I moved to Toronto, I, 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 I moved into the Italian neighborhood. I got immersed in the Italian culture. I married the Italian culture. And, uh, you know, I, I've been telling this story to a few people, but my, my wife's grandmother... Uh, she was dying just, you know, when we first started dating and she wanted me to be pallbearer at a funeral. So I was. However, my wife's aunt, her grandmother's daughter, at the funeral, goes up to her mother and takes her mother's little finger or index finger and uses it on a scratch and win ticket. And I said, someday I'm going to put that in a movie. And I did. <laughs> okay. Well, so these are scenes from your experience? There's a lot of scenes from my experience, from Charlie Torelli, who helped co-write this picture as well. He does these one-man stage plays that are brilliant and funny and very Sicilian and Italian. And um, so we combined a lot of real-life stories from Italy, from Canada, uh, and, and created a new story that is, um, you know, it's all about the immigrant experience. I think, uh, you know, everybody, in the North American can identify with the in, in, uh, in immigrant experience or being a translator, you know, whether it's four generations ago or just the last generation. Uh, other than the native Indians, we're, we're all immigrants. And, and, you know, today's immigrants, I think, may be able to look at this as possibly an inspirational thing because the Italians, when they came here, they weren't accepted. They weren't appreciated, but they became nation builders. And now they are going back, reconnecting with their roots. And that's what we're doing this with, with this film is reconnecting with the roots. Because 
you know, the, the story is about a, a, a father trying to negotiate his way into heaven. But the only way in is to go back and reconnect his, with his son, reconnect two feuding families back in Sicily, and help everyone find love in places they never imagined. Well, <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> but, no, that's awesome. And I think, I think I, everyone can relate to that kind of experience. And I... I know that growing up in Toronto as well, I can identify with that, the neighborhood of Little Italy and um, everyone knows, has the, knows the ethnic mother and the, has that experience. So yeah. looking forward to seeing your film. Yeah, thank you kindly. I mean, I think one of the most rewarding things has been people of other cultures coming up to me after screening. You know, it, 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 it does, doesn't have to be Italian. And just like my big fat Greek wedding, everybody identified with it. And people coming up and saying, I completely identified with that character. I was a translator or something like that. So right, right. that's always fun. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Um, I can't wait to, so it's, it's playing across Canada. Yeah, 17 uh, cities across Canada, uh, starting Labor Day weekend. Uh, don't go anywhere because the weather is gonna be garbage. It's gonna be crap, you know, so stay and watch the movie, okay? There you go. And um, we will have to talk to you another time when you're doing your next film. Thank you kindly. Okay. Bye-bye.